Hey guys, we're uh, here just doing a quick update. Uh, I was doing a little fiddling around 69. Uh, one nice thing about when the car is as rotted as this one is, is when you want to pull the heater channels off, uh, you basically just step on them. And uh, the one fortunate thing is they seem to be breaking clear from the body just about where you'd want to cut it. So, I mean, that's convenient. Uh, and then... Uh, the other thing I was trying to do today, which I was hoping to make a video out of, but it doesn't seem like it's really going to work much, is uh, charge the battery up. I was able to put a battery in here, hook everything up, and I was hoping I would get some signs of life out of this. But uh, I fired it up, and basically the only thing that we get is our four ways. And we don't get any lights outside. We only get the indicator. I got no turns, no heads, no tails. Now, one thing I did notice is, uh, I guess this shouldn't be that surprising since these are always such a pain to find, is that uh, when I looked under the dash, every single fuse had been taken out. I know you can't really see in there. You can sort of see the fuse box. So uh, I did go and grab some fuses that I had in the, uh, in the 71 bus to try and kind of fill out the... Uh, fill out the fuse box a little bit there but that still didn't give me anything I got no horn no lights no crank I do have power back at the engine so uh, and I do have power over to the uh, regulator and so I mean we've got some signs of life but unfortunately it uh, it did not go as well as I hoped I hope I'd at least get some headlights or something out of this thing but uh, so we'll keep going on the tear down over the next couple weeks get these heater channels out the rest of the floors out uh, trim everything down a bit and then I'm going to, uh, there really wasn't any point in bracing anything with the doors on this because since the car was already so rotted, everything's already kind of flopping all over the place as much as it can. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, what I saw in a Dubworks video about kind of ratchet strapping the doors to kind of tweak everything to where you want it. And uh, before I put the new heater channels in, uh, I hope to get the doors at least straight enough that they open and close because this will never be a nice car, but... I do hope at least to uh, slap it together and drive it. But uh, anyways, so that's just a little update. I guess I'm probably going to work on the teardown next and uh, then dig into the electrical a little bit later. But uh, thanks for tuning in and check back soon.